Welcome to this demonstration where I will show the principles of contactless uh, web transport. What you see here is an air turn, a cylindrical air bearing surface. And what I'll show you, if I take a piece of PET sheet, I put it over, then uh, there's no air coming out of the air turn right now. So then you can see there's actually a lot of friction when I uh, press the film over it. If I put some air on it, then immediately the air starts flowing out of the porous material. And you can easily see that when you spray some liquid over it, then the liquid starts bubbling because of the air coming out of the surface. And then if I again take the sheet, and now again I pull it over the air turn, then you can immediately see that it starts moving without friction in any direction, even if I put considerable force on the, uh, on the piece of sheet. And because of this porous material, the air layer below it is distributed um, very evenly. So the air film is really thin, thin and really stiff. So I can put a lot of force on it and still there will be no contact between uh, the piece of film and the air turn. And there's really a difference um, uh, compared to other air bearings where you have these tiny holes. Uh, where the um, pressure uh, builds up more locally and usually a lot more air is, uh, is necessary and the air film is typically less stable than in this, uh, in this case. So next I can show you this setup. This is basically a, a small scale roll to roll line. Uh, so there's a winder and an unwinder at both ends and in between them the film is transported over uh, two air turns here and there. And in the middle is an air table um, where the film is, um, is supported and stabilized. And to show you the principle of the air table, um, a sensor, a laser displacement sensor is put here right on top of it. And it shows, the signal of the sensor shows the fly height of the film uh, above the air table surface. And it is connected to the screen. So in the upper part of the screen, you see um, the signal uh, of the sensor over time. And in the lower part, uh, you see a close-up of the signal, so you can e more easily see the, the vibrations in the signal. So I'm now going to start the, the film. So the film is running now. Um, and the, the air on the, on the bearings is, uh, is on, but there's no vacuum in the grooves yet. So you can see easily there's a lot of vibrations in the film. Then if I turn the air on, uh, on the vacuum grooves, it will take some time. The height of the film is greatly re reduced. And you can see that the film is much more stable right now. So vibrations are reduced to, well, less than 10 microns typically. Um, and by tuning the vacuum pressure, we could also uh, tune the height, the fly height of the film. So this really demonstrates the stabilizing function of uh, the air table.